promise I will hold on till the end For better or for worse For richer or for poor In good times and in bad This I promise you That's how to greet your husband after staying out all night till the wee hours of the morning. Oh, for goodness sake, Edith Odobong. Do you really have to? Oh, sugar. You were always very supportive of me. You never seized any opportunity to, to voice how proud you were of me, to, of being an intelligent and independent woman. Your attitude towards the food is uh... different from yours. I can see that clearly. Changes, eh? You know what? I'm just gonna have to get me a maid because this life that I'm living is more than day slavery and it's not for me. I can't take it anymore. Then go ahead and get a maid. If getting a maid will help you be a happier woman and a better wife, fine! Then get a maid! It's a float of spit in her mouth. These days she's either eating or eating. I'm telling you. Her untidiness has gone to the highest heavens every morning. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Hey. Welcome home, sweetheart. What's going on, babe? Hmm. I just want to have a romantic evening with my lovely wife. Cheers. I've ordered your favorite kind of pizza. Mm -hmm. Your favorite song is on cue, ready to go off. And your favorite man is right here, waiting for you. Okay. What's the occasion, though? You're the occasion. This is all about you. All right? Are you hungry? Right. Uh, not really. But I'll wait for the delivery. Splendid. So how was your day? Oof. My day was crazy. And crazy is becoming a regular thing these days. But I'm kind of used to it. My boss likes using me to shine. But it's OK. I have my eye on that promotion. So I'll let him play his game while I play mine. Enough about me. I'm sorry. How was your day? Mm. Have I told you how beautiful you are lately? Okay. You are so beautiful. And I love you. Thank you. Just thank you. No, 
I love you too. You still do love me, don't you? But of course I do love you, honey. Always. No oh, matter what. Sweetheart. <clears throat> Hold on, edits. What? Let's talk about what you sent me on WhatsApp. I know you're trying to get me to be responsive. Babes, but babes, babes. Can we talk about that later, please? No, it will only take a second. Sit, let's talk about it. Just a second. Okay. So, I know why you sent the video. I know what you're trying to do. You do? I know you're trying to get me in the mood, and I don't judge you. Mm. However, it's, it's not a good thing, you know? This thing is like, it's like a drug. It gets you high and then it gets you addicted and, you know, you always want to get on that high all the time. And gradually destroys your spirit and your personality. I don't want you getting hooked on pornography, babe. It's just wrong. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the manner in which you've told me that. But hey, I'm so tripping for you right now. And I want to get high with my dear wife. Natural kind of thing. Can't be happening right now. Mr. Pizza delivery guy, just drop it at the door. I've already paid. Uh -uh. Drop what? <coughs> Julia, it's mommy. Oh, shh. Damn. That's true. She called to say. She called to say she was bringing the girl this evening. What girl? Thank you so much for coming, Dominic. Thank you. Look, I will not go unless you bless me. He was a member of our NYC drama troupe back then. As we watch him, you mean blessed. I beg. But as I was saying, Anita, see, see, see I should be. You're pregnant, yet you're not puffy. You know, you're not fat. Hey. You're pregnant yet, you look amazing. In fact, strike that. You look amazingly hot. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not like you're toasting my wife. Or am I hearing things? Seriously, Jare. Look, tell me. What is the secret? Seriously? What is it that you do? It's not like it's any big deal or anything like that. I mean, it's... I just take long walks. Um, I dance at least 20 minutes a day. Yeah. I eat very healthy, yeah, yeah. protein-based foods, and um, I talk to Greg frequently. <laughs> what talk to Greg? Yeah. yeah. So, so, what I'm hearing from you is you're not gobbing food every minute. No, I take the no. tank inside you. No. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm going. Thank you so much for Thanks coming. Thanks for coming, man. Don't no worry yourself. Thanks for coming, man. He's such a character. Oh, this man. Oh, I like him. Oh, Mom. Julia. How are you? I'm really grateful, Mom, that she brought me help as fast as she did. Whew. <laughs> Heaven knows I need her ASAP. You sound so... You've not even interviewed her yet and you sound so excited. You have to interview her first. Then if you don't want her, you don't have to keep her. But I hear she's a good level-headed girl. She looks okay to me. I'm sure I can manage her, however. Lord knows I can use some help around here, Mom. There's no time to even waste. So, do you want to tell me why the urgency? I hope your husband is okay with it all. He never wanted a meet right from the start, so I hope the two of you have agreed on the matter. Don't worry about it, Mom. We already had the conversation and it's good. Mm -hmm. As far as the urgency, I have to blog. After which I need to clean, mop, sweep, 
cook and wash for me and edit. All he does is watch TV programs. I can't live that life, mom. I could use some help around here. And then I can't even go to bed. When I go to bed, he's on my case again. I can't. It's too much stress for one body in work. Your body? Your body? Hey, Julia, my daughter, you're pregnant. Hey, Mommy, I'm not you're pregnant. You, Lord. Who said anything about pregnancy? I'm not pregnant. Mm. So, what are you complaining about? Hmm? Cleaning the house you're also living in. Taking care of your husband is tedious for you. Huh? My daughter, Julia, you're a married woman. Hey? Your husband and your home are yours to keep, take care of, and maintain. Mom, can you stop worrying? Hmm. You see, this is why I hate to discuss my marriage with you. You see how this ancient mentality of what a woman's ambition in life should be to cater to her husband and children and cook for them. Times have changed, Mom. Men and women are equal. Everybody has a life to live, and I'm going to live it. Julia. Julia. Ah. Hmm. Did I raise you like this? Hmm. Never. God knows I never raised you like this. Huh? Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Tell me first, when was the last time you went to church? You and your husband? Last Sunday. Good. Good. Then allow God to lead you and teach you how to live as a wife. Everything you ever wanted to learn is all in the Bible. Eh? Submission, love, companionship, it's all in there. Mommy, there's no problem anymore. I don't need you worrying about something that's not an issue. I have a maid now. Problem is solved and everybody's happy. I don't understand why you're still preaching. A maid cannot take the place of a wife, Julia. Don't use them unnecessarily. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. is everything all right here? Of course, my son. We are just having a little tete a tete about the girl. Oh. Uh, well, if there's any complaints about her, please let me know. Hmm? But uh, I pray she lives well with you both and fulfills the purpose for which she was brought in here in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, just give her a pep talk and let her rest for the night till tomorrow. Mm. She just came in from the village today. Oh, she must be really tired then. She can just go to bed till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, I can't let her spend the night in my house. She's a total stranger to me. I need to ask her a question or two. Mm -hmm. But it's getting late, Julia. You can talk to her tomorrow. Sorry, it won't take long. Mama, hmm? thank you once again for bringing help. Mm, thank God. Man. But I hope this help won't cause more problems. It won't in Jesus' name. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we How did you go? Did you miss me while you were away? I don't know. How was Greg? What did he say when you told him I couldn't make it? Nothing. Um, how is his wife, Anita? Oh, she, she's five months pregnant and she's never looked more beautiful. She doesn't have streams of saliva in her mouth and she still manages to look slim and sexy, making pregnancy look like the blessing it's supposed to be and not a curse. And if you needed to pass a point across to me, you think comparing me to someone else's wife was the best way to do it? Wake up, my wife! Wake up! You're not the only one pregnant. You're just four months pregnant. Look at you! Dominic, what do you know about pregnancy? No, enough to know that pregnancy is not synonymous to, 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 to laziness and, 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 and gluttony. Oh, so I'm a glutton, right? You know what? Maybe I should eat less. 
Maybe I should eat less and let your child come out the size of a spoon taking your face. Maybe that will make you proud. I'm trying to concentrate, please. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Mm. So, at what age did you lose your virginity? Sweetie, is that really necessary? I think she's just going and rest till tomorrow. Sweetie, can you please stop? I need to know who I'm hiring. She's going to be living in my house. It's important I know how sexually active she is. Our house, you mean? She's going to be living in our house? Whatever, Edith. You know what I mean. Babes, I'm not saying you can't ask her questions, but I mean, she's obviously tired. Let her go in and rest. What is this about her being tired? Is she complaining to you about tiredness? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Fine. Sorry. Answer the question, young lady. No, I know if you remember. What do you mean you can't remember? That's not the kind of thing a girl forgets. It's very important to me to know how sexually active you are because you're going to be in my house. I'll let you put over the question tonight, but I want an answer tomorrow. And... How much are you looking to get paid? Why don't you just tell her what you want to pay her? And why don't you just let me handle this edits? Leave me now. Okay. Okay. How much salary are you expecting? Uh, we don't get money for our house. If you feel pay me up to 10,000, I could be happy now. Interesting. I'll pay you 20,000 naira and get you everything that you need. Your uniform's inclusive and generally change your life for good. All I need from you is just your loyalty. Understood? Thank you, ma. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Now listen to your job description. You're to wash, cook, and clean this entire house. Every bedroom, especially my bedroom. Especially our bedroom? Baby, I don't think she should come into our room to, you know, clean. What are you talking about, Edith? I'm the one paying her, so I have a right to tell her what I want her to do. No matter what it is, she's supposed to... No matter what it is? Sweetie, that's our bedroom. That's private area. I'm just not comfortable with the idea of having her come into the room to clean or anything. When you keep messing it up, what do you expect? I cannot keep cleaning it up, and that's why I'm getting someone to do it. All right, then. Go ahead and tell her what you want her to do. I have no right to talk again in my own house, Abby. Our house. Our house, Edith. Don't forget that. Yeah. You never wanted it made from the beginning. Now you won't be calling the shots. Isn't that something? Mother, it's my problem. Make Will you shut up? And don't you ever do that again. Sorry, Mom. Why can't you be interfering when my husband and I are having an argument? Don't ever do that again. You're a maid, not a voice in this house. Sorry, I came down hard on you. I didn't mean it, it's just that I don't understand it. I can't seem to get it. Everything looks, it feels strange. It's confusing me.
Isn't it possible for us to disagree over something without keeping malice? You know I can't handle that. Mm? Baby. Baby. Sweetheart. Can you please not disturb me? Please, I want to sleep. Sway, look. I'm not trying to fight. I just wanted us to talk. I think sometimes you should just honor me as your husband by letting me make decisions in matters that concern us. Or let me have a final say. Even if you feel you know better, you don't always have to have... You are so damn chauvinistic. You know? So, just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. I should let you make decisions for us. Are we both not supposed to make decisions as equal partners in this marriage? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Oh, I know. We're not equal partners. From your school of thought, you are the ogre at the top. While I am the slave that you married, who is supposed to be voiceless in the house, right? When did I ever say that? And by the way, what do you know about mates that makes you think you'll make a better decision than I, who is a woman? Besides, I pay her salary. Ah, enough already! You've probably mentioned that like a thousand times in the last few hours. What's wrong with you? Is your money getting to your head? So bloody what if you're the one paying her? So that condones any humane treatment you meet out to her? I can clearly see the slave-master relationship budding between you and her. And I can see that you want to fight. So I'll let you do it all by yourself. Good night. I could say the same thing for you. Listen, Julia, I'm not trying to fight. I just wanted us to talk. This was supposed to be a very special evening. We are already having a great time before Mama and that girl came in. Mm? Sweetie, talk to me. Don't touch me, Edith. Don't. Fine. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Promise I will love and cherish you. I promise I will hold on till the end. For better or for worse, for richer or for poor. In good times and in bad, this I promise.